Hi there, uh, thank you for watching this video. So today I'm going to record my own scatterbug experience on this particular company called Bicom. Please take whatever I share here with a pinch of salt because I have vested interest. But I hope you can copy, innovate my idea and share it back with me because uh, I also can learn from you so here we go so how do I start off so first normally I'll go to uh, the Vicom website and Vicom has two divisions one is the vehicle inspection the other one is uh, miscellaneous inspection okay so today I'm going to share with you how I do my scatterbutt on the vehicle inspection so how does how does Vicom earn revenue? Basically, inspecting vehicles, and it have it depends on the age of the vehicle. So they have categorized it into three categories: uh, less than three years old, three to ten years, and more than ten years old. Okay. Next thing is out of so many categories of vehicles which one do I look at I will choose the cars and station wagons and why so because if I go to lta.gov.sg with whom I really need to give credits because they publish all these numbers and I scroll down to the bottom there is this part on the vehicle population vehicle population here and they categorize or compile vehicle statistics based on the age distribution and I have downloaded that um, research report from the website and here is how it goes okay so this is the right um, source of information because I'm concerned about the age distribution of motor vehicles in Singapore since I'm recording this video in July 2015, uh, I will only have 6 months of data, January to June. And I'll take note of these two categories. Or perhaps these two age groups. This one, cars that or motor vehicles between the age of 9 to 10 and 10 to 11. And if you look across between the cars, motorcycles, buses, and goods, and other vehicles, cars is the majority category. So that's why I'll focus on this cars category. Going back to Vicom, take note the inspection frequency for cars and station wagons. If your car is less than 3 years old, you need not send it for inspection. When it's between 3 to 10 years old, you need to send it for inspection once every 2 years. Shown here. And when it's more than 10 years old, you need to send it for inspection once every year. So if my car is happens to be in the range that is going to be, it's, maybe it's 9 years old, this is the category that I fall into and when it reaches 10 years old, right, it means that I need to do annual inspection. What does this mean? It means that I need to pay or I need to visit Vicom once every year instead of once every two years. And this means that I potentially need to pay Vicom twice the amount. And what this means for shareholders? Perhaps there's a potential doubling of revenue, but this is just only one uh, aspect. Okay, because the other aspect also uh, relies on the number of cars that uh, cross into the age of 10 to 11 years old. Because in Singapore, either you can renew the COE but use back the old car body, or you can renew the COE and you purchase a new car so what really 
is happening to the car population in Singapore. So let us just uh, take six months of data and we just look and we just observe the numbers for this category, uh, age category. So in January 2005, there are 2,200 cars that fall into the category, each category of 10 to 11 years old. February 2004, March 2008, April 3002, in May that's 3006, and in June that's 4300. So you can, see, I can almost uh, make an assumption that between January to June. The number of cars that fall into the age category of between 10 to 11 years has doubled up. Double up. Okay, it's just double up. So, what will I continue to do next for the month of uh, July 2015? I'll visit the website again and look at this particular uh, age category. So, this category gives me a rough guide. Yes, indeed, Singapore, uh, the car population or the motor vehicle population in Singapore growth rate is limited. But if I look at this, this matter from another point of view, it could mean that the number of cars coming into the, uh, falling into the each gap, uh, each category of ten to eleven years old, right, has the has the potential to increase also. So, uh, for all investors, we will assess the intrinsic value of uh, Vicom differently, and this is one of the potential areas of uh, organic growth for Vicom's revenue. I hope I've given you a simple and actionable way of uh, doing a scatterbutt on Vicom. Stay subscribed. To my channel, and if you find that my videos have uh, are clear and simple, uh, do share it with your community. Thank you very much, and I look forward to seeing you if you are a Vicom shareholder at our AGM. Thank you very much.